Greetings, my friends, and thanks for stopping by. Okay, class, do you have your pen and paper and calculator? Because we've got a lesson plan for today. So these three sheets of paper represent three batteries. I am in the process of upgrading my battery bank from 150 amp hour to 250 amp hour. I have these existing batteries, one and two, 75 apiece. I'm going to add a 100. I'm going to have to put it in this position because I don't have room to put it right here. Okay, so I've taped these down. They were moving around on me. I don't have a red marker, but I do have a yellow one. So we're going to go a wire from positive to positive to positive. Okay? Let me put a thin line through there. Okay, so the thin line is positive and the thick black line is negative. You go, take a wire from positive to positive, and then take another wire from positive to positive. Okay? Same with the negative. A wire from negative to negative, then another wire from negative to negative. Now you've completed your batteries in parallel and made batteries one, two, and three one big battery. But they're still not one big battery because batteries have resistance. And electrons like to flow through the path of least resistance. How do I know this? It's physics. It's proven. Uh, it's proven in all battery studies. So, when you have your charger coming in from your solar panel, you're going to want to pretend that there's only one positive and one negative here. So let's pretend that this positive is the only one that exists and that this negative is the only one that exists. Act like these others aren't even there. Okay, so you're going to bring in your positive wire from your charge controller to here and your negative wire, don't go here or here. You want to go to battery number three. You want to go here. So remember, act like there's only one positive and one negative. There's your positive on one and your negatives on three. Power in, power out. Okay, that goes for any wires coming in that you're charging with. I don't care if it's solar, generator, or your alternator. You go to that positive. You'll be coming out with your negative from there. If you put your charge controller positive here and positive there, all of these batteries are only going to be as good as your weakest battery. You're going to have so much resistance flowing through, you're going to have to charge this battery, number two, with battery number one, and charge number three with battery number two. Are you following me? Well, that's the way it works with resistance in batteries. So you want to eliminate that resistance. This would be much less confusing if I had room to put battery number three right on top of battery number two. But I don't have that luxury in my van. I'm going to have to uh, sidestep the battery over to the side just because of the way the room is in my van that I have. Okay, so now let's say if you're not using a fuse bank, you've just got a, a one fan, or let's say you have two fans that you want to run off your battery bank. Well, what you're going to do with it is you're going to act like there's only one positive and one negative on this entire battery bank. You're going to connect your one negative to battery number one from your fan and your one positive to battery number three. Okay? So because your terminals are going to be used up from your charging source. So when it comes to your appliances, you use other term the other terminal that's left over. This is only if you're using a two-wire system and you're not running a common ground or a fuse box. This is so simple and you're not skimping on any wiring. Okay, so someone says, well, Maddie, I'm just going to use a cigarette lighter plug to plug my 12-volt fan in. Okay, great. So what you'll do is you'll put your eyelets from your, or your alligator clips, either one. You'll put your negative clip here and your positive clip here. See, so don't put them all on one battery. Use battery number one and number three. 
And I hope this makes sense, but if you want to know more about resistance in batteries and the flow of electrons, you can uh, access, I know Rutgers has um, free uh, online courses. A lot of colleges and community colleges that will explain this, or you can Google it. But if you want to take the course in it, I recommend it. But I will be making a video as I install my new battery bank and explain why you do this. So you're not charging battery number two from battery number one and battery number three from battery number two. So inefficient, so wrong to do it that way. So uh, I can't wait till my battery comes in and my extra battery cable leads. Um, it's going to be a fun time. Take care, be well, smash the bell.